So what we have is a 21 foot Starcraft Mariner, uh, 1987 center console. It's got two motors, Admiral 120 and an old tracker eight horse for kicker. Uh, it's got a lot of things that need fixed with it. We gotta do some, we're gonna replace all the floors. So you can see, I don't like the way that's set up there. We're gonna fix that. I took it out once just to see how things ran. Everything runs good. You can see, uh, you can't really see here. The floor went bad here. I'm gonna pull this line up. You'll be able to see where the floor went bad. Right there, it's falling apart up there. In general, if it's falling apart there and there, it's soft everywhere. It's replaced. So the first step was just get all the stuff out of here, all the fishing rods and stuff when we used it. Got some storage under this seat, under the front seat there. You can see where the floor was patched once, and where it's falling through right there, falling through right there. Uh, we got this spot back here. We're gonna try and make some kind of seat to cover this up. Go across there, make it high enough that I can fit the uh, gas tank for the kicker motor and still be able to use this cabinet here. Need to screw back together. The storage space is always an important thing on boats. You never have enough storage. Uh, down here where the rod racks are, as you can see, there's like this area here. I'm gonna put a one by six in here, raise it up, and make a little storage area down in there. We can just kind of drop stuff down in all the way from one end to the other. Do that on both sides, give me a little more area. It's basically just wasting the space underneath this rod right here. And the rods, rod racks worked. They weren't perfect. Some rod, rods will try and bounce out of them. We noticed that on our timeout of the one time I took it out. Uh, the kicker motor's not hooked up to the steering, which kind of sucks. It's got to reach clear back here, try and turn it. It's not very convenient for trolling. I'm um, looking at different, uh, different whatever attachments to hook it up to the steering. I haven't found the right one, the one I want, that's gonna work with that motor. Uh, comes with the Garmin unit here. Well, we'll start tearing it apart and see what happens. So like a lot of old boats, it's got wiring that's just been run and run, fixed, what have you, and re-ran. Not sure. What all I'm gonna do with it, I gotta try and figure it out. That's gonna be about the worst parts. Removing this console, I move and removing the steering linkage and the wiring and trying to figure out what needs to be saved and what doesn't can be eliminated because it's not in use anymore. So my dream or goal was to be able to move the center console around without disconnecting everything. Steering linkage, throttle cables, and all the wiring. And I think I'd, I ended up having to loosen a couple wires, tear a few things apart, but I kept most everything intact. The more things I can keep intact, the less likely it is I'll screw something up. So hopefully I got it now where I can move it far forward, take this wood out, then move it backwards, take the front wood out. That's the way it looks right now. So we got the flooring all out. It was a little harder than we anticipated. Uh, what they done, we couldn't find this, I couldn't get to the screw holes because it had been painted over top of with that basement flooring stuff. You couldn't find the screw heads. So it was really difficult to get them. I ended up grinding a bunch of them off. And when they laid the plywood down, this expandable foam, which they didn't have enough of it in here, but what they had in here was still wet and it stuck to the uh, boards. So then you were trying to peel it up off that to boot. Uh, it looks like they used some great stuff here or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix all this. I'm not going to spend a lot of money fixing it, but it's supposed to be a cheap flip around floor on this thing. We'll see. We've got to clean up a bunch of plywood mess here. So there used to be a live wood on this front seat here when it was slid forward. This was the drain access for it. It's holding water down there if you can see it or not. We're gonna try and fill that up and fix it so that we're not uh, holding water there. And we we'll use that drain just to drain water out of there. Not re trying to save this live well. It wasn't in use before either. But I need to use that drain to drain the water out of there and get to the back of the boat. So that we're not holding water in there. Well, 
I hope we, uh, we make some more progress. We got all the pieces cut out over there in the yard. Uh, we're going to start painting them here in a little bit. Last night, we're, when after I left this, I clearly had a visitor. See his little blue footprints. When I left the uh, boards outside, Mr. Raccoon walked around on it. So here's where the project is now. We've got the floor, the floors in. We're waiting on the foam to show up. Made that hatch a lot wider so it'll fit the batteries and the anchor. Uh, We've got to put all the trim pieces back in. Now this back here, we're building the walls for it. Uh, on the right-hand side there, I'm building a bench for the kicker fuel tank to sit underneath of. So it's not just a waste of space where that tank is. Plus, I'm going to try to save that shelving unit. Like I got all the pieces made, I just got to paint them. Plus the piece to cover up this gas. See, the gas lines are higher than the floor, so you got to raise up a spot there. Uh, I'm about to install the trim pieces back on this side. It's just sitting in there. It's not installed. I'm going to see what happens when I put my rails I made in there to make a cubby hole and keep the fishing rod holders. This needs to slide back. To finish wiring it back up. I had to unwire a lot more than I'd hoped to, but that's what happened. So hopefully we can get it wired back up without messing it up. All right, so we got the console back in place. We got to put the bench right here. But uh, we rewired everything up the console that we had unhooked. Turned the motor over, and it turned over. I didn't fire it up because it's not in the water. Uh, you can see those cubbies I was talking about making down in there. Kind of deep. They're not going to be real useful, but any storage is storage on a boat. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you up here or not. I made this bigger. Made the battery compartment on one side. The other side I'll use for the anchor. Just reuse some old hardware, the hinges, stuff like that. Try not to buy too much stuff. Uh, I still don't have this done. Pieces are sitting over there. Ran out of paint. I've got to go get more paint tomorrow. So we finish painting stuff. Uh, we're, we're pretty happy with the progress so far. All right, so we got our foam. We're going to start laying it down. This is not glued down. I'm just trying to. Get it to fit in there the right way. Get it tight against most of the corners. Uh, as you can see, we've got everything else done in here. We've got the poles and everything in here because we thought we were taking this thing fishing. And then the foam came today, so I'm going to put the foam in before we go fishing here in two days. And I'm going to foam all that. But starting out with this one piece. I've seen different videos on how to start out. And uh, I just decided to start this way. Just start in one corner, lay a whole piece all the way up. A lot of the videos say to start in the middle. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens when we try it this way. And yeah, I think it's going to look good once we get this all laid down and glued in. It's not really glued in. It's got like a sticky back on this stuff. I bought this stuff at Walmart. It was about the cheapest that I thought would be uh, acceptable. I found some really weird name companies selling it, but they I was skeptical about what they would give you. This is uh, medium quality, I would say. It's not going to be the name brand stuff. So I got the back two pieces of the sea foam on there. Looks pretty good. I don't like the way I trimmed around the center console. I should just pull it out. I did pull the seat out and then I put it over top of it. I haven't screwed it back down yet. But I like the way it trimmed out around the edges. Now it's gonna get a little more difficult. I got a lot more trim to do up through here. Cutting this narrow piece and get a wider. Plus the outside of the boat curving in on the bow. These next two pieces are going to be a little rougher. Those two pieces didn't go down bad. Uh, all right, so we've got it in there. You can clearly see the seams here where it changes color and everything. I suppose that's from buying the cheap stuff instead of name brand stuff. I figured out a way to cover this seam up down through here. I think I have an idea for how to do that. 
I haven't done this deck up, casting deck up here. Then when it come together, my stuff wasn't exactly square. You can kind of see where the one piece is a little wider in the middle there, but I don't think it's too bad. But this edge along there, we've got to fix. Once again, down through here, you can see where the color and change changes. Uh, I've got grass all over this thing from having mowed grass around here. And that color change you see there is just like the sunlight. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so we had a three day trip on the lake. I came home and I washed this and scrubbed it with the Dawn Dish Soap and Scrub Brush. And you can see it's still really stained up. Now we were hard on it, fishing the whole three days, long days, but up the front cleaned up pretty good, but it didn't get used as much up here. But if you're wondering about this foam not being stained, not staining up like they say, it, they say it's stain resistant, mm -hmm. it uh, will stain up for sure. I'm sure there's a way to clean it. It's a fishing boat, I don't care. Dawn Dish Soap, don't take it off, it's not coming off. But the overall success rate of the flooring was pretty good. It was not slippery when it got wet. A little slippery when it got some sheephead slime on it, but everything's going to be slippery if you get some sheephead slime on it.